Now, most of the time, we're not going to have a number for our input. So if I give you a composition of functions like g, oops, need a pen there, g of f of x. Well, f of x is 2x minus 5. Now what I'm going to do is I want to find g of f of x. So instead of writing x, I'm going to write f of x. So I'm going to say 4 times f of x. But f of x is 2x minus 5. So I'm going to say 4 times 2x minus 5. Then we'll distribute. And we get 8x minus 20. And there's your answer for the first one. Now let's do f of g of x. So if I do f of g of x. Well, I start here. g of x, I know, is 4x. So I'm going to find f of g of x. So I'm going to take my function f. Instead of writing x, I'm going to write g of x. So I'm going to say 2 times g of x minus 5. Now we'll replace g of x with what g of x is, which is 4x. Then minus 5. So we get 8x minus 5. And that's f of g of x. Now, composition of functions actually are, we do them a lot, you just don't realize it. Uh, an application, I think, is actually easier to see than it is the just doing the pure algebra. We'll take a look at example five here. It says, Hector has $100 uh, deducted from every paycheck for his retirement. He can have this deduction taken before the state taxes are applied, which reduces his taxable income. His state uh, tax rate is 4%. If Hector earned $1,500 every pay period, find the difference in his net income if he has a retirement taken uh, before the deduction or after, or have the retirement deduction before or after state taxes. So let's do uh, no deduction first. So he's going to pay 4% of $1,500. If I take $1,500 times 4%, we get $60. So his take-home pay, we take... We take off that sixty dollars. He is fourteen forty. He takes home. Then we're going to subtract the hundred dollars, and he will take home one thousand three hundred and forty dollars. Now let's do the deduction first. I'm going to switch pen colors here. So he's going to start with $1,500. We're going to take off $100 first. So his take-home pay, or what he's being taxed on, is only $1,400. Now figure out how much we're paying in taxes. We take $1,400 times 0 0.04. So 1400 times 0 0.04. He's going to pay $56 in taxes. And so to figure out his take-home pay, we take 1400 minus 56.
and that will give us what 1344 so if he has his taxes if he has his deduction taken up first he gets to take home four more dollars that's a pretty good deal especially when you do it every pay period you get a I think you get a free ice you get a free coffee every pay period 